Well, good evening. It's good to see you this evening. My name is Pastor Christian Watts, and I'm uh, the worship pastor at First Baptist Church of uh, Tullahoma. Isn't that amazing? Right here in town. So, yeah. It's good to be with you tonight. And, and let me say this. Let me say this. Tonight, we are going to just worship and praise and hear from God's Word. And, you know, I don't know about you, but how many of you could say, how many of you had, well, let's say this, how many of you had a, had kind of a rough day or a long day, right? You know, and, you know, it's only Monday, and Monday kind of seems like that, doesn't it, right? But, uh, you know, th the bottom line is, though, is that what a blessing it is that no matter what kind of day we have, you know, that at the very end of the day, we, our God is the same. And our God is still worthy of praise and we can come together and we can worship Him and know that when we put everything in His hands and in His care, everything is going to be okay because He promises that in His Word. Amen? Even though it may not be to what we think it should be or whatever else, when we trust Him with our lives and we trust Him with our day-to-day, -day, we know that He will take care of us. He will bring us through all things. And so as we worship tonight, as we gather in this place, you're going to hear some songs that you probably never heard before, all right? And, and we did that on purpose because we wanted to stump you. No, we, you're going to hear some songs maybe that are new to you. You're going to hear some songs and some crazy guitars and stuff like that. Maybe you're not used to that. That's okay. Everything we're doing tonight, let me say it, there's one reason, to the glory of God. That's what we're about tonight. And as we do this... And as we worship, here's the thing. You know, you might say, well, that's not my style or, or whatever else. That's fine. You worship God for who He is where you are. All right? And we'll do the same. And all together, man, we're going to raise the roof for God tonight. Amen? Amen. Let's do it. All right. Why don't you stand up with us? Come on. This song says, awake. Awake my soul, O oh Lord. Come on. Breathe on me, breath of God, breathe on me, breathe on me, breath of God, breathe on me. Oh! 
we'll clap for some arms. So whatever you feel like doing, just do it and worship the God. Come on. Strength will rise as we wait upon the Lord. Wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord. Strength will rise as we wait upon the Lord. Wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord. And thank you uh, for the opportunity to sing praises to you. I ask you, Lord, to just make us desperate for you tonight. Fill us uh, with that desire to uh, just to go after you like never before. The Bible says, uh, may we go after you as a deer panteth after water, but make us even more desperate than that. Make us even more hungry than that. 
Lord, I, I'm so excited about these who come, have come tonight with a desire to, to grow in their, their intimacy with you. They could have been in any number of other places. Lord knows there's others with so many other excuses why they're not here, but these have chosen wisely. And I pray that you will bless them and that you will give us a night that we won't soon forget. God, I pray that your, your presence would just fill this building from every nook and cranny to this floor. And I pray even more so that it would fill our hearts it would make a difference in our, not only our hearts, but our homes, our church, and our community. God, I just pray that you would uh, just fall down and, and rain down upon both Don and Christian, your presence and your spirit tonight. Anoint them for this task. I know that neither one of them take this lightly, this responsibility to lead your people in worship tonight. And may we as your people respond appropriately may we give you our very best because you gave us your very best may everything that we give to you tonight be pure and unadulterated may it be from the heart take us back to the heart of worship Lord and may it be a blessing to you as you bless us tonight through this service through the spoken word through your presence through the movement of your spirit God's people said Amen. Thank you. You may be seated. Tonight, from our neighboring church, First Baptist Tullahoma, we have leading uh, with us tonight uh, Christian Watts and his band and his choir from across town. Would y'all give them a great big hand? <laughs> Christian came on staff at uh, First Baptist Tullahoma last July. And uh, he, before that, he served uh, as a pastor at a church plant in Pennsylvania. He's a graduate of Palm Beach Atlantic University, Campbellsville University, and Southern Baptist Theological Seminary. His wife, Kelly, where'd she go? There she is. You've probably seen her at Chick-fil-A before. I see her uh, quite often there. Um, and they have two children. I think one of them, there's, there's her son over here on the drums tonight. See him over there? And they have Ashton, and uh, this, this guy behind me uh, is a, has a great personality, a great sense of humor. We are delighted to have he, both he and his uh, group tonight from First Baptist and all the other folks from across town. It, it, it delights God's heart to see God's people come together in worship. We're, not, we're all on the same team, and uh, we're, we're here tonight to worship the Lord together. So again, would you give a grace welcome to the fine folks from First Baptist. We are equally blessed to have with us tonight to preach God's word, Don Pearson. Don has been a church planter. Uh, he has been a pastor. He has been a missionary to Belize. He's been a director of missions. Uh, he is currently serving as the Tennessee Baptist uh, Convention Prayer Ministry Specialist. Uh, and then yesterday, he just accepted a call to go back into the pastorate. So he'll be leaving the Tennessee Baptist Convention. And he'll be going uh, to Stewart's Chapel Baptist Church in Flintville, Tennessee as their pastor. And uh, he told me, shared with that with me this morning, uh, that news. And Don was born in Illinois. Uh, he's a graduate of Campbell University and Southeastern Baptist Theological Seminary. He and his wife, Trish, have two children, and they have eight grandchildren. We are very blessed to have this godly, uh, anointed, humble man tonight to preach God's word to us. Please give Don Pearson a Grace Baptist welcome. <laughs>
Yeah. 